when Dwayne drops the grass. A helicopter with the I know <laughs> with the chain and holds it. <laughs> and holds a helicopter. The thing is, Marvel has thousands of my dollars. Already. Got you. Thousands. You are got. Because I'm already years from now. I'm still going to be watching. They got you. <laughs> they got me from It's inevitable. <laughs> they can't even stop. You can't even stop that train right now. What what is Tarkin's goal right now with this? new group so Tarkin of course is in charge of the entire imperial force him and Darth Vader are equals yeah where's Darth Vader well you know oh wait oh no, yeah no well yeah. don't forget now Vader just this is just after order 66 so oh man how she, cool was it yes <laughs> she blows up the TVA right and we get a bunch of different timelines which I will I'm gonna go after I'm gonna go over because there's a bunch of different ones that we actually recognize so let's let's um let's start with one of them um, it's because it's because 2020 we had nothing you know how hard that let's let's really talk about this Know how hard it was to get through 2020. I had I've had something Marvel, something superhero since I was eight. Every year since I was eight. And then 2020 is like, mm, no, nothing. Hi everyone. Welcome back to DNA. DNA reviews, I mean. We're doing a non-spoiler review of Snake Eyes. We just watched it today at around like five o'clock, and the movie was around two hours long. And so we're gonna give you a non-spoiler let you know because it's the first day. And so next week, we'll give you a, more of a spoiler review of it. The usual. Okay, my thoughts on Snake Eyes. Um, I liked it. I saw some early reviews before I, before I saw it. A lot of people, a lot of the reviews were not favorable of it, so my expectation kind of went down a little bit, which is good because you don't want to go with high expectations. Then you usually get disappointed. So I went in with, you know, regular expectations, and I liked it. It was enjoyable. It wasn't a bad movie. I didn't say, wait, let me go back. I didn't say it was a bad no, movie. No, I didn't say you said a bad. I'm saying others were saying that. It was a bad so, movie? Yeah, it wasn't. I, I think that it's the same, because I always compare to Marvel. So I think it's like a, it's the origin story. It's the startup. Yeah. If you look at phase, if you look at phase one of Marvel, that's not my favorite phase, but it's the foundation. Like right. if we don't, if we just skip to phase three, my favorite phase, it wouldn't have the hold right, it does. Right. So yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of like a mm, kind of kind of movie. It's not like a ten out of ten amazing kind of thing, but it's a great foundation for the future films. That yeah, gonna have. I liked it. I thought it was a pretty decent movie. Um, the action was good. The story was good. The story was different for sure. Mm -hmm. um, you, you, the story is pretty much unexpected because snake, you know, the whole snake eyes thing. So yeah, snake eyes. Oh well, I guess I don't we'll want to. I don't want to. <laughs> Spoil we'll it. save that for the spoiler review. Yes. But yeah, it, it's so it's different. It's not, you know, like we said, uh, the typical uh, origin story and the way he, be, you know, became Snake Eyes and all that. But other than that, um, yeah, it was good. I, I'll give it an eight. It was a good, yeah. I, um, well, I, I guess I'll give it an eight because I gave I gave Black Widow seven. Yeah. So I'll give this an eight because I had I had a more fun time. The action was really good. The action was good for an American film because I was expecting it to be more wide shots where you can really yeah. see the action. But yeah, the, the action, it was really close, closed in or it was in the dark, which is very American style, where it's like, cuts. Ooh, 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 it's like cuts, like, are you really fighting kind of thing? Yeah. Hopefully in Shang-Chi, they do better with that, where it's like wide shots, let us see the action, especially when it comes to sword fighting, you know, yeah. like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'll give it an A as well. And it's a good, it's just a good foundation. It's so a good don't, time. It was yeah, a good time. Don't expect it to be a, a big spectacular thing because I feel like if it was that would have took away from it yeah. because there's going to be so many of them so there needs to be it needs to be Hopefully. like a marvel it needs I Hopefully. know I y'all need to stop y'all need to stop except expecting so much from these movies because then they're gonna be like oh well we're just gonna throw it away and it's yeah. like no let them do their foundation let them yeah. make something out of it you know yeah, it was a good start I liked it they did a good setup for G.I. Joe for Cobra I really want to see yeah like, the yeah yeah I, I want to see them do a couple more origin ones yeah and then bring it together as the G.I. Joe team thing so yeah I like it I, yes. I, it was fun. It was a good setup. For me, I think some people go in sometimes expecting, you know, too much of a story. You you got to know, you got to know what you're, like you said, read the room, right? Right, right, right. So you got to understand what the movie is. It's, it's not Marvel it's Phase a, 5, it's Phase 4. It's a G.I. Joe movie. Yeah. It's a comic, whatever, kind of, whatever. It's fun. I right. had a good time. It wasn't boring. I actually enjoyed this movie more than I enjoyed Black Widow. I don't know. I feel like I put it in the same. No, no. I, I expected enjoy, no, more. I enjoyed this See, the problem is yeah. I expected more from Black Widow. Right. Because... Of what it was and who you know who built the foundation for Black Widow. Right. So I expected more. This, 
it's not what it, what it, what it should have been. Yeah. Right, right. Because it did. It, it gave me um, Iron Man 2 f- vibes. Yeah. Iron Man 2 vibes. Um, Iron Man 1 and Iron Man 2 put together kind of vibes. Yeah. So I, uh, yeah, it's a foundation movie, guys. It's not a, this is the movie, you yeah. know? I liked it. Um, let's see. What else? Is that it? I mean, that's it for our review. That's it. Don't want to give you too much. Yeah, not too much. Non-spoiler this time. Next week, we'll do a spoiler and give you all thoughts on the movie. And that way, you guys have a chance to watch it. And uh, we'll give you the blow by blow. Okay, cool. All right, let's move on to Bad Batch. Yes. Let's move on to Bad Batch. All right, so what did you think of Bad Batch episode 13? As the usual. <laughs> <laughs> Next, moving on to that. They went backwards on this one. Yeah, you know, um, they were moving forward. I mean, it's almost to the end, right? Yeah. We don't need any more um, missions of the week. I know. That's what. I, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, okay, we're at episode 13 now. Why are we doing another mission of the week? Yeah. I thought we were gonna. I really had high hopes for this. Now yeah. I'm. Now I don't even. I don't even care I now. No, it's mean, 13. Look, it's, it's three episodes yeah, left. Three episodes left. You gotta set us up for the big bang, the big bad, the big. When, Who is the big bad? Whatever. What is the purpose of the show? Why? On? What are we leading to? Why do we care? I mean, this to me, we, all the filler is supposed to be early. This right, is right. another filler. Yeah, it's another filler. It's an episode on. I really didn't need to see. It yeah. didn't further the story. didn't give me anything what's going on. There was, was another contained small story. has nothing to do with the large scope of Star Wars. I, I agree. It was another filler. And I'm like, we're on episode 13. Dave Filoni, what are you doing? And you can't do this whole... Well, wait for the last three episodes, or wait for the last episode. Or That's for, where or wait for season two. Wait right for season two. Like it's like no, you're supposed to give us the episode now. Like you're supposed to do it now, not like yeah. way in the like. You know what I mean? I hate when shows do that, or I hate when movies do that, where they like at the very last second we're setting it up for season two, and it's like, what if we don't like this and you don't give us a season two? Give us your all. Yeah, you gotta now. finish strong to make us come back for season two, and being the fourth to the last episode. Of sixteen episodes, uh-huh. 16 you got to start building the, the tension now, so we come back for the next three and know what. I mean, we're gonna come back anyway. We're gonna come back anyway. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think the last episode is the thirteenth, the August thirteenth. Is it that Friday? And this is the last Friday show. Everything else will be coming out on Wednesdays. No, oh, okay. which I'm just like, why? No, actually, the Wednesdays work out because. You, you get Wednesday, and then the weekend comes, and it splits it. And then next thing you know, it's like, oh, it's, oh, it's already it's Wednesday. Wednesday yeah. But it's Friday. It's like, oh, next Friday. You have to go through all yeah, like, through Monday, the whole, Monday, the whole yeah. Day. So I actually like the Wednesdays. I look up, and it's like, oh, snap. But, you know, DNA comes out on Friday, so it's like we're two days behind. While, like, the other people, like, where this is their job, they're like, okay, it's a Wednesday, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. But this episode, I was kind of disappointed in it in a way where it's like, it's another filler. Pretty much. Omega wasn't as annoying, I guess. <laughs> and I did like Sid in this. I did like how Sid had more like of a Sid role in, in it. I like Sid in all of it. You like Sid? Okay. I like cool, Sid cool, in all cool, of it. Cool. Her character is good. Um, her name is Rita something. I forgot her last name. She's uh, She used to be in, uh, in Cheers. The uh, short lady in Cheers. Oh, really? Yeah, that's her. Oh, okay, cool. I need to finish Cheers. Behind, I actually really like behind it. the bar. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, what cool. What was the name, Ramona? Or I can't remember her, her name in the show. That's her voice. I guess that she changed it up yeah. for like the show. But that's her. Oh, that's cool. I like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I saw she's good, and I like. I enjoy her in it. And uh, but other than that, eh, <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. Okay. Well, hopefully the next three episodes will give us something because we're what you know. Give us what you're supposed to give. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's not giving what's supposed to give. Yeah, what's supposed to give. You know what I'm saying? Because it's if next if next week episode is another filler, I'll be really disappointed. Me too, because it's and that's episode 14 now. Yeah, you gotta rev us up for the. You gotta make us come back for episode 16 for the big win, whatever that is. Well, like who is the big bad? Like who are we fighting against? I thought it was the Kaminoans, but we haven't seen them since Fennec. Yeah. That was like way episodes ago. Way episodes. So it, it, I feel like this show, honestly, yeah. I'm not invested enough for me to be like, ooh, you know? There's it's all over the place. There's yeah. there's not something happening where I'm like, okay, I'm gonna come back next week because ooh, you know, because yeah. this. They're gonna try to pay it off in the last two episodes with the Cam Cam, Cam, Cam whatever they're called. Cameron Owens. Cameron Owens. Uh, We're like they're in charge of everything. They planned all of this. Uh, whatever. Or or Sid is working for the Kaminoans this whole time. No, nah, because she the hand them over already. They they pay well. I guess I don't know. They, got, they got a big bank. Anyway, whatever. All right, on to the next subject. That's it. Yeah. 
I, I, I don't even have a rating for this, but yeah. Uh, uh. Is it called the Bad Batch because it's bad? <laughs> 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 That's not right because uh. they're a bad batch. It's a tough one, guys. <laughs> We'll see in these next three episodes, but that that's all we're giving. This is all I can give for them. Yeah, it's 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 okay. I have nothing much more for them, so we'll move on from them. Yes, yeah, so we'll move on to the next thing, which I've already forgotten what it is. Um, let's talk about the Dune trailer, the new trailer oh, that came out man. on Thursday. Dune, that was a good trailer. Let me it was look three up three minutes uh, long. Yeah, tell them about it. It was three minutes long. There was uh, so the trailer dropped yesterday for Dune, which is coming out in what is Dune coming out in? October? There's just so much stuff. It's and coming out in 2021, yes. October 22nd. October, that's a big one. That's a big one. Like, so Dune, of course, is a, is a movie that's based on an older movie from the early 80s that just didn't do well. Mm-hmm. But that movie is based on a series of books that was written back in the 60s and 70s. And it was like the, the highest rated uh, sci-fi book back in the day. It's about Earth 30,000 year, 30, years from now. and Anyway, it's a long story, but it looked really good. The trailer looked really good. It, it definitely um, looks really good because it's made by the, um, the director who did um, Alive? No, yeah. no, Arrive. Arrive, yeah. Arrive was really good. Arrive was so, you know, different. It was different, yeah. It, but it was just so, it's like hard to explain how good it is, you know what I mean? And I feel like that's the same feeling with Dune. Yeah. And the cast is amazing. We have Tim- Timothy Chalamet. Zendaya, Rebecca Ferguson, Jason Momoa, Dave Bautista, Stellan Skarsgård, Oscar Isaac. Like, it's just, uh, like, person after person after person. It's a lot, of, it's a lot of talent. It's a lot of talent. Yeah. Uh, it's a lot of talent for sure. Look, they spare no expense in the cast, obviously. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's pure. Uh, this cast is pure, pure. Oh, Josh Brolin? Josh like, Brolin, come on. This cast is pure gold. Yeah. This movie can't be bad. Right? If it, like... You, if it's bad, it's because of the director. It's because of the writer. It's not because of the actor. The director. No, there's no way. Is an awesome director. But the director is an awesome director. So, so who the messed o- up? The only, the only, the only concern I have is because Dune. Now they only doing book one anyway, but Dune is such a complex story that's happening. I would even advise people before you go see the movie, like go to YouTube or something, and just look up. Tell me what Dune's about. Oh, okay. because the story is so complex and, and, and intricate that you can actually get lost watching it. Mm-hmm. What's the runtime on it? Uh, it is two hours and thirty-five minutes. Yeah, so, so that means there's gonna be a lot of complexities <gasps> happening. Music by Hans Zimmer. The movie's good. <laughs> the movie's good. It's good. <laughs> I don't need. To, I don't need to watch it. It's good. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's so much complexity to this movie. Whoa. That's why the original one back in the in oh, the early yeah. '80s. Wow. Didn't it, it was a flop, right? Except for the people that read the book, mm, they um, liked they it. They liked it, but it was a flop because it was so complex. The audience didn't know what was going on. Abram, it, so it's like it's like um that Christopher Nolan movie. The uh, <laughs> what was it called? Tenet? Tenet. I couldn't get it through it. I had to stop. I, you couldn't get through I it. I couldn't get. I know, and I love Christopher Nolan. It I was love the volume. Nolan. It was the. <laughs> it was the volume. Listen. It was the volume. I can't hear what okay. you're saying. Let me go down a rabbit hole for a second. Chris Nolan, you did the same thing in, in Dunkirk, okay? But it, it made sense. <laughs> he did the same thing in Dunkirk, though. He has, a, he has some artistic thing where he feels that the background has to be louder than the dialogue. <laughs> the dialogue. And like, yo, <laughs> I need to hear what you're talking about. I need to know what the story is. Or is it is? some ploy for me to go watch the movie multiple times? <laughs> Maybe. Because, you know, Maybe. I had to watch, what you call it? Um, Dunkirk? No, the other one. Interstellar? I ha- no, the other Inception. One. It's- <laughs> <laughs> you just rattled them off. <laughs> There's too many. <laughs> I had to watch Inception like three times before I fully understood what was going on. Right. I had to watch it so many times to piece it together. <laughs> so I think he does it on purpose when it's like, look, he's so I'm, mad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna write this to where they're gonna watch it three times. <laughs> Like before they fully understand. Because even Dunkirk, the first time I watched Dunkirk. No, that was good. I loved I know, it. Yeah, you're right. But the first time I watched it, I didn't understand what was yeah. going on, but mm-hmm. it was fun to watch because right, it was right. a great story. It wasn't until the second, second time I realized, time. oh, snap, this is the same day. Same day, everything weaves together. One's an hour, one's a week, and one's, you know, a day. Right. It took me twice to figure it out. Twice. Two, two, and Inception is 
is like really confusing yes. as well. If so you Tenet, yourself, I'm done. Oh my God, Tenet was so confusing, <laughs> okay? But it wouldn't have been bad if he just turned the volume <laughs> up just one notch. Just one notch. I, need to be able to hear I don't the, need the you dialogue. To be, I don't need you to blast me out. Just turn the volume up. Just <laughs> right. Just a flash. <laughs> it's like it was a, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so he does that on purpose. So no. Yes. So back to your point though. <laughs> With Dune. But Dune, it's 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 very complex. So when you're watching it, it's. It's the kind of movie I would say not to watch at home because you know when you're at home watching a movie, oh, yeah. you gotta stop playing with your phone. Or you, once you do that and you lost where mm. you are, forget you've lost where you are. It's over. So yeah. no, you you don't want to do that with Dune. You want to sit down, watch it, and pay attention to what's being said. Hopefully, the dialogue's good because a yeah. lot of stuff's gonna be happening. Because the, the, okay. the thing with Dune is they're gonna be talking in terms that you can't understand. It's thirty thousand years from now, right? So they're gonna be saying words where it's like, well, "What is that? What, what does, does that, that mean? mean? Yeah. What do you mean by spice?" Uh, what's, what, is, what is this? What does this what mean? This? Right, what's right, right, on? right. So it, it almost, it's almost like, well, hopefully, I don't know how they did this movie. Maybe there'll be some splaining going on in the right, beginning. Right, right, right. You know, so you could kind of like, okay, I get where this is going. But if there's none of that, and you just, it looks like, it throws you're just you like, into the world. Oh, everybody's, re- everybody's red dune. Okay. <laughs> no. Like, <laughs> you know, you're no. going to be like, what? What's going on? Okay. It, it's almost, almost, almost in the same vein of um, Blade Runner. Mm, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, I had to watch Blade Runner one for class. I couldn't do it. Dad, yeah. I couldn't do it. I, I, look, I watched Blade Runner back in the 80s when I was a kid, and I didn't want to go on. So I rewatched it, I don't know, maybe like two or three years ago. I was like, you know what? This was supposed to be a good movie, but I just don't know if it's a good movie or not. So right. now that I'm grown with an adult mind, let me watch this. <laughs> so I decided to watch the ultimate cut, which is supposed to be the, right. the best the cut. The best cut. Right? Because there's like four cuts of Blade Runner. I know. Four. There's four narration, cuts. No narration. Final cut. Director's cut. Like, there's like four. Oh, yeah. So I was like, this is the ultimate cut. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. This is the one I'm watching. I put it in. I'm wa- put it in like I'm putting the tape. <laughs> but I, put <laughs> in, <laughs> I put it in. I'm watching it. And I'm Watching this, I'm like, this movie it's so sucks. Boring. This movie it's really so boring. sucks. I'm sorry to the people that really love Blade Runner. I, maybe it's like really nostalgic for you, but I watched it for the first time a couple no, days ago. What a couple happens weeks is, ago. What is, happens is, is this. It's like Tron. Because I watched oh. Tron, I watched the first Tron again. So uh. what happens is this. When we were kids, because they had lasers. Right, right. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and there was technology Whoa. happening. You're like, oh my God, this is the greatest thing ever. Because in the 80s, we didn't have this right, stuff. Right, right, right. So when you saw lasers and computers and lines like Tron, I was like, this is this is this freaking is the best awesome. thing ever. This is the best thing ever. I watched Tron 1 again <laughs> recently. And I was like, yo, <laughs> this why? Is. This is trash. <laughs> this is pure trash. Why did I watch this? Because <laughs> it was this, awesome. See, but the, Tron Legacy is good. Tron Legacy is good. And I'm so mad, A lot of people, don't like, lot of people don't like so it, though. I'm so mad at the critics and everyone that bashed on yeah, this movie. they destroyed it. I wanted another one. That movie is so good. I the enjoyed music, it. I the, enjoyed it. The yeah. lighting. I'm not going to get into it. I love Tron Legacy. But Tron 1, I was like, yo, this was trash. <laughs> This was 80s trash, okay? Yeah. So it didn't hold up. So don't. this is a lesson to you all. Don't go back and watch the movies in your heart that you felt that were good when you were a kid. Right. Don't go back. Don't do Just it. Just leave the memory. Just leave it in your memory. <laughs> leave the memory in your head. Uh, anyway. So we're excited for Dune because yeah. it has a great director, great composer, great a- great uh, cast. Yeah. So, like, what else? This it, movie it has to be the, this the movie, writer. This movie should be Academy Award. It better. This is that type of movie. And especially with it coming out in fall, it is going to be an, it's an Oscar movie. It's, it's Oscar be. time. It's so. Oscar movie. It's got to be an Oscar movie. This movie sure. has too many heavy hairs in it. And it, the budget is 165 million. Wow. Which is, they gave which them is, all the money. They, yeah. So, which is insane. All right. We'll see. But yeah, we'll see. We shall see it in October. <sighs> and then, of course, the trailer for, uh, throwing uh, G.I. Joe, the trailer for Maverick dropped again. Got was it a new ju- one? It was same it? one, same, oh. one, same one. Got my juices going, though, boy. I was because like, you saw it in theaters. Dun, dun, I missed dun, it. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, <laughs> and by the way, Top Gun, the original, still holds up. Still holds up, still, still holds up. up. <laughs> <laughs> a PG movie. Yeah, PG-80s. <laughs> <laughs> 80s PG. Not PG. 
AG, AG's PG is not the same as today's PG. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's so different. funny. But it still holds up, though. Yeah, yeah. Still good. I saw it like one time. I got to watch it again. Yeah, you watch it again when your mind's a little older now. Yeah, yeah. It's still good. It's still good. I know. Trust yeah. me. <laughs> But yeah, we saw that. Um, th- there was a new. I think there was a new Suicide Squad movie. But what did what did people say about it? You said that there was people saying. Yeah, that, stuff uh, like I haven't that. I haven't seen the the recent trailer, but I've heard from uh, other other YouTubers like watching them that um, the re- the reviews on uh, Suicide Squad are is like off the chain. People are saying that this this movie is like ridiculously good. So hey, I'm excited to see it. Hopefully, it is good. Okay, I'm trying to pull the cat. Yes, I want to see if there's any. Um, let me go back to two now. Let me see if there's any reviews on it yet. Like if they're, you know, like a. Um, yeah, they're saying it's good. I mean, I'm hearing, I'm hearing good things about it. I didn't like, you know, the first one fell apart. Um, Dad, it, it started good, but it fell apart. I don't even know why they're making this movie. Like, I just don't even understand like the purpose anymore of this DCE well, here, universe. Well, here's exactly why it's getting made. So you know the the director, what's his name? James Gunn. James Gunn. So James Gunn left Marvel. The whole scandal thing with him and tweets. You cancel culture people. Right. No, I told you the story. Okay. So James Gunn, <laughs> I knew the story. So James Gunn left Marvel, and as soon as he left Marvel, DC scooped him up. They were like, what? Days James later. Gunn. They asked him the next they, day. They told him pretty much, what do you want? What movie do you want to make is your choice? He could have made Batman. Yeah, but he's he's the funny guy, so. So he asked to make Suicide Squad. And so of course it, they were like, okay, we'll, is- let you, we'll let you make it. It's rated R. Was yeah. the first one rated R? No, it was thirteen. No, it was oh. R. It was R. Was it? I thought so. Yeah, I think it's R. So the the cast for this one is a good cast: Margot Robbie, John Cena, Pete Davidson, Idris yeah. Elba. Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. You wait. said you said John Cena, man. You said it's a good cast. Hold on, hold on. Let me get let me get to the rest. John Idris Elba, Sylvester Stallone, girl, guy, <laughs> Nathan Fillon, and D- Daniela. Mc- Nathan uh, Fillion. Fillion, yeah. Yeah. I mean, okay, never mind. It's a it's a it's like a okay it's cast. It's more than that. It's a lot of people. Idris Elba's really gonna carry it, and Margot Robbie may carry it a little bit. She she Yeah, didn't, Margot Robbie's a good actress. Yeah, she didn't do good on her own in Harley Quinn, but she's a good actress well, all together. What happened? Well, Harley she was good as Harley Quinn in the first series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which spun off her own movie. The problem with the second one was they just went too they went <sighs> like they stepped in it. They were like, we're gonna go all the way ridiculous. With Holly Quinn. That's that's the thing with these part twos and reboots. They're like, you like that one aspect of that character, we're gonna blow and it we're up. We're gonna magnify every part. Like of you it. don't and the thing is they do it again and again. It's like, y'all, do you not see the pattern you're making? How about you just make a regular movie? Like with, with like with a quiet place. Yeah. A quiet place, they did their first movie, and then the second movie was just a different story, but it's the same universe. Yeah. And it was it was great. So like, why can't y'all why can't other people do that? Like yeah, you know, I don't know. They just feel like, oh, you like this, we're gonna give you more of it. It's like, dude, yeah, we did like you it. Give me too much moderation. Of it. Like, and not to mention, she, she was ridiculous in the character because in the first one, she's a murderer. She's killing people. In this one, oh, Dad. I'm not gonna kill the police. I'm gonna, I? Use, I'm gonna use this bat, and I won't hurt anybody. You're Harley freaking Quinn. <laughs> <laughs> You're Harley Quinn. What? What is this powder stuff? That made me so. That that's what took me out of the movie, and that was it for me when when I saw that. It was too much. But I think that Mar- Margot Robbie is a good actress. She's a good actress. And so whatever, it's it's really the 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 writing and the directing. Yeah, so. we'll see. I mean, that's like I said, the, the, the people that have seen it, um, they did their social media reviews recently. I don't know if they've done big ones. Yeah. You might want to check Rotten Tomatoes. But <clears throat> um, yeah, they, they came out saying they loved it. It was crazy, action-packed. And, okay. Um, you know, it was murderous and gory and all that. They were, they were loving it. So um, I'm, I am looking forward to seeing it. Very violent and has immense core, something, something, something. But hey, we'll see. It's rated R. Yeah. So that might add on to it. That might add another aspect to it. But, you know, we shall see. All right. All right, what what's next? This is a quick, um, this is going to be a quick uh, DNA here. Mm. Um, I think that's it. That's all you get for movie news? Because there was, I feel like there was more stuff, but... That was it. Hold on, I have a, I have a notes. I have a notes app. It's gonna be a short. DNA. It's about to be a short DNA, guys. Cause I do have, I do have one more thing. <gasps> yes, I remember now. Um, <laughs> Jordan Peele's, Jordan Peele. Have you said? Do you know what I'm talking about? What? What I'm about to pull up. Uh, uh-uh. he got a new movie. 
Yes. He has a new movie. Ah. What's it called? What just happened here, guys? Where did we go? What? What just happened? <clears throat> guys, we're we're still here. We're still here. <laughs> banter, banter, banter. <laughs> Look, there you go. I don't know what happened to camera two, guys. Uh oh. What? Oh, camera two. Well, Jordan Peele came out with a new movie. Is that a trailer for it? Um, not a, there's not a trailer for it yet. Um, oh, I know what happened. Oh, this is, I'm so sorry, guys. Camera, why isn't it showing? We're so tiny! <laughs> I don't know what happened, guys. I'm so sorry, but uh, we're, it's, a, it's a struggle DNA today, I guess. Struggle bus DNA. Struggle bus DNA. Um, yes, and the the it's the title that's what's making me laugh. What's and the I title? really want to. Use, it's called Nope. <laughs> it's Nope. Just nope. Nope. <laughs> Can you help? Nope. And I gotta show you that I, I wanted. I, well, I can't show the rest of y'all because whatever just happened threw our whole thing off just now. Is it is it the uh, another horror movie? I think it is because you know Jordan Peele. So uh, Jordan Peele. Nope. I just want to, I'll show you the, um, the cover. And it looks like a, it looks like a horror. Excuse me. <clears throat> Can you see it? It's like yeah. a cloud. Like <laughs> so a... you know what that means, right? Uh, yeah. Nope. nope. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? It's, it's, that's exactly what black people say. Uh, uh nope. nope. <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> so it's gonna be really funny. It's gonna be like <laughs> it's gonna be like in the, the woods. This dark hallway and the doors open. Yeah. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I love it. I it's love that so title. Funny. It's gonna have David Kalula, um, uh, who is a. Uh, Wafa, Mafa. Oh, uh, from, uh, from, what's his name? Um, from um, he was he was in his last movie. Yeah, he was in his last movie. Yeah, he from, no, that's he not from the right Kanda. guy. That's not the right guy. You talk, Sorry, are you talking get about out. The, no. guy, the original guy from Get Out? <sighs> I'm getting the mixed up. Oh no, David, David Kalu. No, I know it's it has to be. Um, it's the guy from Get Out, but they were both in uh, Black Panther. They were. Yes. I can't. Just you know what I'm talking about. They're both in Black Panther. Yeah. But we're gonna have that Kiki Palmer and um, Stephen Yuen. Yeah, I feel like I know. Is Stephen Yuen the guy from um, mm. uh, Walking Dead? Yeah, I think that's him. Yeah, Stephen Yuen. What's his name again? I don't know. Glenn. 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 Yeah, I think that's Glenn. Yeah. So yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a time. Yeah, I love the title. I love nope. the title. Nope. Yeah, so it's gonna be interesting. That is the. Uh, you know how we should make this. I'm about thing. to give you. I'm about to give you the scenario. Okay. How we should make this. Okay. It should be George. It should be black folks and white folks, and then they're going somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. And stuff starts popping off, and white folks are like, "Let's check it out," and black folks are like, "Nope, nope. I'll get it. <laughs> nope, I'll walk away." And the rest of the movie is this. <laughs> But no, somebody, I guess Stephen Ewens could be like, no, let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's see what's going on over there. It's okay, guys. Yes. Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. But I, I'm excited for it because it, uh, Jordan Peele stick to, stuck with the one word titles, yeah. Get Out, or Get Out Stewart. So Get Out, Us, Nope. It's like the, you know, fast words kind of thing. I wonder if they're in the same universe. You know, because there's a, there's people a think. theory I know. That, that Get Out and uh, Us is in the same universe. Yeah, people have, I've heard that too. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know. Not all black people know each other. Maybe it's a different, <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's a different universe. <laughs> okay. Ooh, but I mean, so it funny. is okay. It is David Kalula. So it's the guy. It's the guy from Get Out. So yeah, it, Get it Out. could be a part two. Get Out. Nope. Get Out. Oh, I, don't know. I wonder. Yeah. Because why would he? It doesn't give any synopsis. No, it's just he just came out with the. It was a day ago. He came out okay. with this new horror poster okay. for it. I gotta run that down and see what that's about. Yep, 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 yep. Nice. Um, that's it, guys. 
Um, short and sweet today. We got short and sweet. We get a late one, and we just got from the movies late, so it's okay. Yes, uh, thirty minutes instead of an hour. We didn't have a lot to talk about, but next week. Well, we're supposed to be seeing thing tomorrow. Old, so we'll have a, a DNA on the go. Yeah, we'll do a quick for one. old. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is the last, uh, not the last. This is for a while the last formal DNA, and the next time you'll see us is August 13th, um, and we'll be reviewing Suicide Squad, Respect, Don't Breathe, Part 2, um, Got Free Guy, because I really want to see Free Guy, Dad. I heard it's good. See? Free Guy. All the, sh- uh, What If will be out by then, so there'll be, it'll be a jam-packed review on August 13th, so make sure to put it on your calendar for DNA reviews. So that's it. Yeah, short one again. All right. Bye. When Dwayne Johnson grabs a helicopter with a I know <laughs> with a chain and holds it <laughs> and holds a helicopter. I think it's Marvel has thousands of my dollars. Already. Got you. Thousands. You are got. Because I'm already years from now. I'm still going to be watching. They got you. <laughs> they got me from It's inevitable. <laughs> they can't even stop. You can't even stop that train right now. What what is Tarkin's goal right now with this? New group. So Tarkin, of course, is in charge of the entire Imperial force. Him and Dark Vader are equals. Yeah, where's that Vader? Well, you know. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. No, well, yeah. Well, don't forget now, Vader just, this is just after Order 66. So, oh, man, how she, cool was it? Yes. <laughs> she blows up the TVA, right? And we get a bunch of different timelines, which I will, I'm going to go after. I'm going to go over because there's a bunch of different ones that we actually recognize. So let's, let's, um, let's start with one of them. Um, it's because, it's because 2020, we had nothing. You know how hard that, let's, let's really talk about this. You know how hard it was to get through 2020? I had, I've had something Marvel, something superhero since I was eight. Every year since I was eight. And then 2020 is like, mm, no, nothing. 